and we're live all Woo-woo. right what's going yeah we're definitely gonna go ahead and have to i'm gonna have to do a quick little email blast over here Is, do, we yeah. still, do we still use that term email blast i don't think that's i mean a thing. i still do at work i'm okay. like email blast El Dorado Cantina. I'm looking that up. El Dorado, yeah, yeah. El Dorado uh, Casino, si toro. That's all good stuff. Ooh, toro, si, si. toro. All right. I think we just rolled over 900 subscribers too. I'm actually really excited. This nice. Is yeah, you're like straight hustling with these videos. I'm like, how does he do it? You know, I just don't <laughs> sleep anymore. <laughs> I bet. All right, all right. Oh, let me get him let everyone know. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. All right, then. So, Spinach and Sharks, welcome back to the Hashtag Vegas Podcast. I'm your host, Ace of Vegas, and I'm joined by my co-host today, Chris Rocks. Chris, say what's up. What's up, everyone? Mm. The ceiling is what's up. Oh, I'd hope so. Otherwise, we're outside. Yes, in the stars and the aliens. (laughs) Probably probably (laughs) aliens. Those seem legit. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't put it past them. (laughs) Nice. Come take me. All right. All right. So what are we talking about today, Chris? Well, apparently there is El Dorado Resorts, Inc. has an, what, $8.58 billion acquisition of Caesars Entertainment Corporation. Yes. Means an underdog from Reno, a town long in the shadow of Las Vegas, will become the largest owner of casinos in the United States. Oh, snap. Going big. What? Yeah. That's, that's in the up, LA son? Times. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, L- LA is on top of that there. Here, I'm going to go ahead and tell some more people because I feel like we need some more people in the live chat here to talk about yes. uh, which casinos are going to go and which casinos are going to stay. Because now that Caesars has been sold, and I know we're a little behind on this one over here, but it's something we really wanted to talk about. Which hotels, Spinners and Sharks, ladies and gentlemen, do you think are going to go? So I've got them all lined up over here. And we're going to go through hotel by hotel All right. and figure out Do which it. ones are going to get sold. Okay, so let me go ahead and put up this last little post over here and get some... Uh, I still don't have theme music tied into this yet because I haven't had a chance to work on it. How many beers have you had? There you go. I've only had one. I'm them. on my first one. Oh, no, I haven't had beer in like maybe a Oh, no, I did have a beer, a sip of it All right, cool, from that cool. bachelorette party. Uh, I got you, I got you. Uh, oh, yeah, speaking of which, speaking of which, uh, <laughs> that reminds me, uh, so Comscott and I, we had a soft bet going on here. Oh. Did you marry the stripper? Ew, no. <laughs> Ugh, I we, had we, a we weren't sure if he was, on we, me. We weren't sure if he was nice. Maybe he was, like, really okay. reasonable and said, hey, I know that you're not into this, but thank you for supporting your friend. You seem like a nice young lady. I won't harass you today. And you were probably like, oh, okay, maybe he knows what's going on. Okay, yeah, did not happen that did way. Did not happen. Okay, no but marriage. Not stripper. at all, but let me give you guys the details really I am quick curious. here. I'm curious. Well, we're I had that. a um, bachelorette party in Chicago with my friend who's getting married in Texas, so congrats to her. All and right. uh, we just priced her with a stripper online. You can order strippers online from this one website, and we're like, oh, let's pick a stripper. So we got this guy named Rio. Shout out to Rio. All right, I Rio. 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 So we're like, all right, cool, cool. So we we got this guy, Rio. He seemed decent. We're like, okay, he seemed not creepy. He seemed really buff. And we're like, all right. So when he came in into the apartment, he looked, he had a full grown beard, like big, like maybe like, like, uh, it was like five inches. It was a huge beard. Hmm. And he was very, really, really like skinny. And I'm like, man, I thought this guy was going to be more buff. And uh, he looked a little bit different from the picture. And I was like, oh, my God, it's true. These guys look so different from the picture. It's a Photoshop he, right there. Yeah. Like, he looked completely different. But it was okay. He still was. He was okay. He was like, yeah, it's her type. She's really tiny. Now, was he, so like, he like really his... skinny? Or was he, like, really cut? And he was just, like, super He lean. was actually. He was. He was skinny with, like, pretty. Yeah, he was pretty cut. All right. I feel like he could have been more buff. Uh, picture. Yeah, I don't know. You're like that could have used some, some more oh, muscle yeah. mass. He wouldn't have been creepy yeah. if he had some more I mean, muscle mass. Some of like that. He was fine, <laughs> and he had like a lot of tattoos. In the picture, he had no tattoos, and I was like, "Is this real, dude?" I was like, "Okay." I like looked at him, like, "Okay, he's a real dude." He <laughs> it's a little out went of through some time. <laughs> right. Yeah, it was a really out of date photo. Oh. Um, yeah. So he did his dance. I uh, he was a construction worker, and I'm because like, "Oh, course. great." <laughs> 
What, why is that? Why, why do all, all, all like male strippers need to have a job? Like their job is being naked. Why do they need a job? <laughs> Just to take it off. <laughs> but we didn't even ask him to be a construction worker. I was like, oh, well, well, let's make him be a cop or a cowboy. But no, he came as a construction worker. And I was like, okay. <laughs> all right. Hey, your you know, thing. I, he's like, I just got off the job and I got one yeah. more being to raise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, whoa. So, yeah, Good he did Lord. his little dance and he uh, started to take it all off. I didn't realize, guys, take it all. He went, he took it off. We saw his booty <laughs> and he wore a sock and he probably <laughs> wore some something to make his guy look huge because it was like out there. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Don't let him me. turn left. Yes, but no, he was like literally swinging that thing on all the girls. And when it was my turn, literally when it was my turn, I was like, uh uh, uh let's just have a twerk off. And that is it. So we had a twerk off. He didn't do anything to me. And then the next girl, he went all crazy and did, did she you, got slapped you the in the off, face. Is the question I have. I guess I did. Okay. I, all I right. guess I did. Well, cheer, cheers yeah. to the twerk off over here. Hang Thank on. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I was like, all right. Well, every other girl was hiding in the bathroom, too. So, right. uh, yeah, it was uh, interesting. Uh, I never experienced a stripper like that. He did a lot of crazy moves. There you go. A lot of crazy moves, but Ain't no party he was like nice. a Chris Rock's bachelorette party there, just FYI. Uh, I know. All it right. was an interesting, interesting two days. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's yes. let's, talk, let's talk some casinos right now, since right. we're on the subject of bachelorette parties and all that. Just the, yes. these are the places. So, as you guys know, so like Chris <laughs> said, El Dorado is fixing. You know, it took over Caesars, and they're fixing to downsize their Vegas assets because they think that they have too much exposure in Vegas. So, we're gonna go ahead and go through all nine Caesars properties right now and decide if they are going to be the ones that get sold. Now, they haven't told us an official number. Yes. We don't know how many of these are getting sold. Probably just two or three, because I think six uh, hotels on the Strip, that's reasonable. If you ask me. All right. Yep, yeah, that is. All right. Well, you want <laughs> all right, let's just go ahead and start at the top. You ready? And our first let's property. Here we go. One, two, and three. Caesars Palace. All right. So if you guys don't know, if you've been living under a rock, Jay, Sarno, Jay Sarno's Caesars Palace is the it's the Caesars property. I don't actually really need to explain that. I'm not sure why I started doing that. So Caesars Palace, best uh, pro probably the best Caesars property location wise on the Strip, and it's definitely one of the uh, you know it, it's really you know they they updated a lot. It stays pretty modern. The buffet is always great, and you know the the high roller options and even mid roller yeah. options are always really great too. So. The real question is deal or no deal, sale or no sale. Chris, what do you think? I don't think there is not going to be a sale. You don't think they're going to no sell, sell it? Well, no, no, why mean, wouldn't they sell it? I mean, it's, it would go for a good price. I mean, I know why I, I think they won't sell it, but why do you think they won't sell it? I mean, it's such a staple that uh, I feel like the way I, – I just feel like it's just such a staple in Vegas that I think it's just going to stay the way – it is. I don't know. That's what I'm just thinking. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I feel you on but that But it could one. be a surprise. Yeah. It could be a surprise. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think they probably, I don't see any reason that, why they would. The brand recognition is just there. It's, yeah. Uh, it's probably one of the best looking properties. They, they, I'm sure they make a lot of money. I haven't actually checked Caesars uh, Ledgers or anything like that. I check MGMs religiously. Uh, because I'm always trying to see, do they have any extra money? Can they hire me as a spokesperson? I don't think they ever will. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, like, can, they, can they afford to keep my Vegas going? But, you know, I look at that sort of stuff, and I usually know how much Jim Urin is making, but I have no idea how much Tony Rodeo is making for Caesars over there, and I guess now for El Dorado there. Uh, but their stock's gone up, and it makes me it makes me think, I think they're still going to stick with Caesars Palace. That is the yeah. flagship. That's the equivalent of uh, Darth Vader selling... You know, one of his star destroyers, so that he can have, oh, I don't know, uh, rebel transport and fly around. But you on know that. what? Who's doing that? <laughs> it could be a surprise because you know how they get those sta stadiums and they rename it to something crazy. Like, oh, that's true. What yeah. is it? Uh, I know they did guaranteed that. rate field. Right. <laughs> 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 they did. They did that actually to us here in Denver too. We had Mile High Stadium, then they knocked down the old there one. Go. We got a new one. Then they it was I think it was Invesco that made one and then sports authority mm. actually bought them out too so it became sports authority field and we finally just barely got it back to mile high uh rather recently within the year so yeah um so i mean i think they could i don't think they're going to sell it but th that is a possibility we can't take it off the table so 
All right, so there's that one. Um, you want to move on to the next one? I don't think we have any thoughts yeah, from the comment it. section yet. All right, let's move on to the next one here. Let's go to Bally's Las Vegas, and I got the got the picture over here. It's Bally's with Wahlberger and the uh, Redneck Riviera, uh, a giant Starbucks, because of course. <laughs> and you know, we just got the Bally's Tower over here. So Bally's another fairly central strip property. I think it's right across from the Caesars, uh, real close to Cosmo and all that. Very, uh, very modern, very fresh. So Bally's, what do you think? Um, I think I think this one was actually on my top eleven worst hotels on Las Vegas list. I didn't. I know it was yeah. low on the list, but people did yeah. vote for it, so I'm not sure. I mean, Bally's rooms are surprisingly nice. I was pleasantly surprised of how, how clean the rooms were. Yeah. The actual like casino floor and the outside appearance, it's not so great, but I do like their their hotel rooms. Uh, I think they'll probably sell this one. I think they can do better. You think, of the, I think, you think they, could, they could revamp it? Yeah, I feel like this one has potential to be revamped into something. Yeah, quite possible. Much more, I, I, I guess more. I don't know, not luxurious, but more appealing. Yeah, I, I can see that. But, I can see that. It, it doesn't strike me as the quintessential uh, Caesars hotel like a few other hotels do. I um, mean, I have a few others on the list that I think would uh, definitely go. Uh, there are actually uh, two of them on the list I think would go for sure, and a third one I think might go. Uh, actually, I know there's a third one that I know for sure is going, but uh, yeah, Bally's, and I, I think there have been rumblings of it. Uh, I don't think they should sell it because the location's too good. They'd make a lot of money from it, but I'm sure they lose a lot of money. You know, you got to go through Bally's to do everything, um, and especially if you're taking the monorail, you got to go through Bally's to do everything. Uh, the, the casino and a few of the shops could use a refresh, but I think the that Caesars and El Dorado might spend their money better on a refresh than uh, than redoing the whole thing like that. So I'm gonna say that Bally's should stay. So I'm gonna disagree with you on that one there. Although I yeah. do understand your points and I think they make a lot of sense and that's pretty logical that they would sell it. Yeah. Yeah, that one's like one. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it, could, it could go we up hope. in the air. Yeah. All right. What, what do we want to do? Like a th you know three to two odds on that one. Go you know yeah. yeah three three at uh three it stays two it goes more likely it's gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No, that sounds that sounds reasonable there. Uh, yeah, kind of, kind of makes me wonder about it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, see, um, and actually in the comment section too, who we got, oh, Faces and Aces, actually, and yeah, one of my buddies over here, I was just doing a podcast with him, don't forget to check out his channel, guys, if you haven't, uh, Faces and yeah. Aces Las Vegas, my buddy, uh, Chris over there has got a great channel, he does an amazing podcast, inspired this actually quite a bit too, and he's been helping me out with a lot of the settings, and getting together, and, you know, doing some tutorials and all that, so he's been great. Uh, let's see. Bally's is such a weird play, uh, weird space. All pulled back from the strip. Mm -hmm. I don't think they'd sell because it's connected to Paris. Yes, so they oh, would. Yes. They'd have to do a lot of. They'd have to do a lot of remodeling with the signs and things like that. That's actually a really good point. Yeah. I don't, mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, would they really do that while it's connected to Paris? I mean, they could make it into what's neighboring Paris. They could make it into what's another country. They could um, revamp it to Spain. El Madrid. Oh, no, they yes, have they these. Yes, they could call it El yeah, Madrid. Right? El Madrid. <laughs> there you go. Or Barcelona. All right, and or they could just have Antonio. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and they could have Antonio Banderas as a headliner every night. Oh, yes. I'm there. There you go. <laughs> I, I, I believe it. I believe See, that's a, that's a stripper she'd take back, Antonio Banderas. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind that stripper. Hey, fair enough. You know, I don't think I'd, I, I'd mind either. I mean, you know, it's Antonio Banderas. That's a story to tell, if nothing else. <laughs> C, C, C. All right. Um, here, what, uh, what, what about uh, what about the next one? Let's hit the next one. Uh, next one on our list is the Cromwell. So the Cromwell, I know they just redid that one, so it's a, it's a lot prettier than it used to be there. But, mm. um, you know, I'll, I'll just say my thoughts right now. I think the Cromwell What's can go. Going? I, yeah, you, you're, so you're thinking the same thing. It's it's not. I iconic. mean, I, I only I only see that one club. Isn't that the one with that has a club at the top? The Drays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, the, the beach club I, or something, right? Yeah, I always hear about that beach club, but I really I always forget it exists. But I always think of the Drays, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, you know, so I'm not sure. Think about it. it can go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice enough property. I don't go there very frequently, and if I remember correctly, it's a little farther north on the strip. It's still kind of centralized, but it's a little farther north. 
uh, kind of by what is it? It's kind of by I want to say I'm trying to remember exactly where it is. I want to say it's really close to. I know it's next to Caesars. No, actually, mm-hmm. no. I guess, I guess it is a little more central because it's uh it's across from Caesars, and because it's right uh it's just north of Bellagio, but it's south of I think I know it's south of Mirage for sure. And it's south of Casino Royale. I think it's right around where Flamingo is. No, no, not Flamingo. Mm. Not Flamingo. No, no, it is, it is next is to Flamingo. It? That's right. That's right. I always get Bally's and Flamingo confused. Yeah, I know. They look really similar now, too. I, I just always remember the ba- you know, that Flamingo is it's so much. It, it's a much older hotel, really. I, know. I, I never really think about these things, but all the Caesars properties are in the same spot, too. So all of them have pretty decent locations really so it's really tough to tell like i mean if you sell any one of them you're gonna make some money on it is the thing hmm, um, true that yeah but yeah the cromwell is just uh, i don't know i mean it's a, it's a good hotel it's a good four-star hotel it just doesn't terribly interest me you know and it just doesn't have yeah. a lot of pizzazz to it so i'd say that that's a that's a safe one to get rid of um oh celebrity show hey there's our there's our uh our mod at Robert and Robert wants to chime in a little bit too. Wonder how the celebrity chef contracts will affect sales. Would they move uh, Giada if they sell Cromwell? Uh, you know, I'm assuming that they'd probably buy the contracts too. Uh, I depending, mean. I mean, if the, the especially if they already lease space at the hotel, then it would just be between the hotel and them. So if the hotel just changes owners, then that's just kind of how it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking. I I'm thinking Cromwell could go, and then um, I mean the I'm, I don't see why the restaurant would leave. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Oh I'm, I'm not... yeah. There and there's another good reason. <laughs> uh, Chris chime uh, chime back into. Uh, it's the one Caesar's property that has decent gaming odds too. Three oh. two blackjack, double zero roulette, and decent pay tables on the video poker. So there's another reason because they might not be making as much money on it. Mm. Ah, so there you go. True. So yeah, that True. that, that hey. looks like a good candidate. It's, it's yeah. All right, Cromwell uh, gone. There we go. All right, so bye bye, Cromwell. <laughs> I guess I guess now we are uh, Tony Rodeo or whoever's in charge of El Dorado. <laughs> so there. all right, um, <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and jump into. Oh yeah, there we go. Um, if Link gets sold, would Gordon Splink? Oh yeah, there's another one to talk about. We'll have to talk about Link pretty soon too. But I think the next one on the list is. Harris. Now let's talk about oh. Harris. Okay. Oh, oh uh, Chris has a story about this. Chris, what's up? No, I'm trying to remember where Harris is located. Right next to Casino oh. Royale. It's like right across from uh, Mirage too. Mirage and um, right next door to Casino uh, Royale. Oh, that, is that where I'm... there's like a steakhouse inside? I think yeah. I always walk. I always walk past by it. When I want it, when it's super hot, I always go inside that. I just, think that's just the hotel I city. go. Yep. <laughs> yeah, to, to walk past through it. But yeah, yeah Harris. I don't really care for. It they can don't go. Care but you know, I. I don't really. Yeah, I mean, I like the feel of it being a old school hotel. Yeah. In the strip, it's kind of nice, but I don't really care for it. Like, right. but I do want it. I do would like. I need like that old school. Hotel to oh, that's what downtown's for. Like that's what said. Fremont is for. That's true. Binions just <laughs> reopened their hotel towers. They're fine. We don't need Harrah's. Or, or do we? Or do we? Here's the question. Yeah. Um, so I remember Harrah's uh, used to be its own its own brand because they got Harrah's everywhere. They got Harrah's Atlantic City, Harrah's Pennsylvania. I think they're trying to open one uh, up in New York or something like that, too. I don't know. I was talking to my cousin about it. She said that they were trying to open a new casino up there, and I can't remember which one it was, but they're always trying to open the casinos up there. It's crazy. Uh, But Harrah's, it was a nationally recognized brand, and I remember they merged with Caesars a while back. And I want to say about three or four years ago, uh, Mark uh, Mark Rosora, the former CEO of Caesars, or the guy that preceded him, I can't remember which, one of the two of them, uh, was trying to get rid of all the Harrah's casinos, and they were trying to get rid of the brand, and that didn't work. So I'm starting to think... Maybe Harris is too iconic and too ingrained in the brand, and the shareholders probably wouldn't let it go. So I feel like Harris would stay. And it's got us. Yeah. I mean, it's got us. Yeah, there's a Harris in uh, Lake Tahoe. Um, uh, let's see. Robert saying that Harris, Northern California, is in there too. They got him in Reno. They got him 
all over the place there. Yeah, there uh, used to be one where where I'm at right now, back home in Indiana, but they got rid of it. Yeah, or does it still exist? I'm not too sure. Gonna, gotta the check. The casino is here. Um, yeah. Yeah. The the live chat's thinking that yeah, Despacito definitely thinks that Harris needs to go. Um, and Diane was telling us that uh, we walk through Harris. It definitely could use a facelift. So yeah, it, it could stand to be cleaned up. It might be a good candidate for someone to someone to buy just as a nice little project mm-hmm. hotel, Remodel. do a little wax on, wax off. But you know, I mean, because this got a spectacular. Uh, obviously, Harris Lawlin uh, does a lot of deals too. So they, I mean, they'd. I feel like they really have to get rid of all the Harris properties, and they'd have to do a lot of cleanup on this one. Though I mean, that's too much work. Yeah, the, the location <laughs> is spectacular. It's right across from Mirage, which officially has the best location on the strip. I don't know why, but it just does. It's dead center in the middle and Harris is right across from it so it's also got physically the best location on the strip it's just not a super strong hotel so I don't, I don't know I mean I guess it could it could use a cleanup but it might be good just for them to invest in cleanup instead of marketing trying to sell the place and all that so I'm gonna say that Harris could yep yeah Harris was the company that bought Caesars Entertainment in 2005. Okay, I was right. Robert backed me up on that one there. Uh, and I know he's doing research because he's not actually having to run the podcast. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, um, so yeah, they're, they probably won't get rid of it because that's, that's half the company there, or I guess now a, a third of the company. So I'm going to say, if nothing else, at least a sixth of it. At, at a minimum, a sixth of it. So uh, mm-hmm. I'm definitely going to go ahead and stick with, uh, I'm going to stick my guns on this one. Harris is going to stay. Uh, Chris, you, you still think that Harris should go? No, I could stay. I feel like it'll be too much work. It'll probably be a hassle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's too my boy, work. Dan. There you go. All right, cool, cool. Here, here Dan, um, we're actually going to we're gonna put you on the spot here, man. We're going to ask you about this over here. Paris. Now, what in space are we going to do with Paris here? Ooh. Yeah, Paris, Las Vegas. Dun, 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 dun. See, that's another iconic one, and that's and that's uh, attached to Bally's. I forgot about that. And that that's a big mm-hmm. one. Um, now, the actual property within of itself, I mean, it, it's themed and it feels so self-contained. I think someone could buy that out, maintain the, uh, you know, they could Structure. maintain the identity yeah. right there, and they do yeah. good. They could just go ahead and clean up a little bit on the rooms because I think it's a it's a drastically underrated property, if you ask me. Yeah, it's. I feel like. The rooms do represent Paris rooms, yeah. but it's not a, like a hotel I want to stay in. But it's nice to just go in there and check out the the casino floor, and they have really good entertainment. Yeah, you know, it kind of reminds me of uh, shoes, New York. New York. Oh yeah, they do. They, yeah. they do the uh, what, what kind of show? They do the uh, the always, burlesque girls, right? The, yeah, do, or some do, show do. that they, they do like some singing. And I always, when I pass by, there's always something going on that stage on the casino floor, and I'm oh. like, oh, that's so cool. Um, and supposedly the restaurant is at a steakhouse has really good food. Oh yeah, yeah, pa- to yeah try. Gordon Ramsay's steak. I there love you go. Going yep. there. I haven't gone the last few times too. I mean, it's, it's a little pricey, but you know, it's a celebrity restaurant. That's just how yeah. those are. You know, so no surprise, right? <laughs> um, so I was thinking about yeah, thinking about that too. Uh, oh, the copper lucky bucks up there too. <laughs> Bloody hell, Robert. <laughs> But yeah, no, they do. They do have the dancing girls. Uh, and Despacito likes Paris, so he says it should stay. Dan agrees. is also very underrated there. Um, and the bu- and Diane thinks that the buffet is, eh, okay, I think that's fair. Yeah, it's probably a pretty lousy buffet, admittedly. But I, I don't <laughs> think there are a lot of great buffets left anymore. I'd have to do a top five. Uh, yeah. yeah. And Chris uh, from Las Vegas, or from Faces and Aces, is thinking they'll probably keep it. Uh, BLT, pretty good. St- yeah, BLT steak because he's here to get into. Also pretty good. Yeah, so they have a lot of great stuff at Paris, and you know everybody here loves the place. So I'm sure, you know, even if it did go, we- they'd still see some patronage. But I mean, statistically speaking, I'm guessing they're probably gonna. Oh yeah, and the Bellagio Fountain View there. And that's a that's a good enough reason for him to keep it. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking they they should keep it. I think they could sell it. And yeah. I understand why, and they could get a pretty penny for it. I, th- I think they'd get a hell, you know, a hell of a deal. So, mm-hmm. and they definitely can attract a lot of traffic. But I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, man? Mm. Oh, wait, you're telling me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were seeing someone too on the chat. Oh no, no, I'm asking. I was trying to find the YouTube. Cha- 
on my phone and I was like, let me go into the chat and, and I'm reading them. But right. yeah, I, I feel like they should keep Paris because it's there's I don't know. I'm really bad at this, guys. <laughs> oh, man, I mean, you know, it's, a, figure out. Well, you know, it's just it's just an opinion. I mean, nobody here is a Vegas yeah. expert except for uh, Despacito. That guy actually runs the industry. He's not going to tell anybody. There you but go. He's definitely an industry guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, industry insider right there. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, we're just I guessing. think the most, yeah, and I think the most they can do is just rebrand maybe the. The, I, don't know, I don't even think they can rebrand. They could just keep it the same. Yeah. I think that hotel is one that they could just leave it to be, and it's it'll be fine. Gotcha. So you're thinking keeper? Yeah. I I think they should keep it too, but I think they might get stupid and sell it, and it'll be a disappointment. But I think they might sell it, which is a real shame because it's it's a yeah. great bargain hotel. It's an amazing bargain hotel. I'd say and it's like a the great New- location. Yeah. It, it's like the New York, New York of uh, Caesars, but it's it is a yeah. much better location, and I think it's just a better property overall. Yeah. All right. Uh, here, let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> jump up to the next one here. Flamingo. No, that's flamingo. Oh, the flamingo. Flamingo. <laughs> oh, flamingo. Mm. That's actually another hotel where the floor, casino floor, is very. Eh. But the rooms are nice. Yeah, they're great, yeah. and they're great, cheap and great location. But well, you gotta get you gotta not give appealing. It a break. It's it's seventy <laughs> years old. You gotta keep in mind the place is seventy yeah. years old. It's been open since nineteen forty six, I think. Oh, as old as my daddy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh. Um, yeah, I think it's the same age as my as my father in law too. I don't, I don't know how old George is. I have to ask him about. That. Actually, I probably shouldn't <laughs> ask him about that. <laughs> I like to like, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> I have a general idea how old he is, but I'm not actually going to go ask him. Uh, but yeah, it's another. You know, it was like the first. It's it's the oldest hotel on the sh- on the strip right now, um, and it kind of. Oh yeah, there you go, the Dirty Bird. <laughs> um, let's see, Despacito's like yeah, he's laughing about that one too. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Donnie and Marie closed down. Oh yeah, when Donnie and Marie closed down, they can. Consult- they're never going to leave, Robert. They're never going to leave there. You know, <laughs> they live <laughs> there. True, they own that. <laughs> Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure they do have a stake in there somewhere. I don't, I don't know which one, but they got a stake in it. So I feel like every casino has their own steakhouse, don't they? Oh no, no. I mean, like, like, like Donnie and Maria, like they own the stake oh, of the flamingo yes. in there somewhere. I yes, feel like they yes. do. I don't know why. I, I, I never heard that anywhere. I'm literally making. You know that up what? On the spot, they probably right. will sell it and rename it Donnie and Marie Casino. Hey, there you go. And there we'll have go. statues and a museum of them. And wouldn't you that know? be great if the Osmonds just bought a casino? Yeah, that'd, that'd be the they call most it the bizarre Osmonds, right? thing. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I'd love to see that. Um but uh, all right, what do you think? should it stay or should it go do 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 I no, mean, no, no, no. Uh, now I'm feeling my idea of of the, of the casino to be renamed as the Osmonds and then rebranded. All right, so you're going to you're going to say it. it needs to go. All right. Yep. Um you know, I'm going to I I think I agree with you on this one. Flamingo does need to go. Oh. Oh. They're ending their residency. They're ending the residency. Good lord. Wow. Okay, I take that back. Oh, I guess, uh, well, so much for that, but I mean, I guess without, yeah, without the Osmonds there, I'm not sure, uh, maybe they can sell it to the Osbournes. And I don't think no one cares about the Osbournes now. Sharon! Sharon! The cards in the pit! Yeah, oh goodness. Hmm. No, no, yeah, we're, yeah, we're a little behind, Rob, my bad, my bad, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, you know, they, they they didn't email me, dude. They just didn't email me. They, I know they, I say they made the announcement in March. They didn't email me. I wasn't on their email list. I'm so depressed now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say, oh, just yeah, yeah, dude. As long as you, long, long as you're in here, as long as you're in here. See, there you go. <laughs> that that's Robert's I'm, job. That's why he. That's why he's a sub mod. <laughs> that's why he's there in there go. keeping us. Yeah, keeping I honest. feel so naked without my computer. I'm just on my phone, and it's All it's right. surviving. What's five percent? Oh, right. we're gonna make it. <laughs> And most most is thinking, nope, we got to leave it because it's a classic one. Yeah, this is the oldest hotel on the strip here. So, I mean, who wants to lose that? Who wants to lose that marketability right there? Like the the oldest hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. Not the greatest, but definitely the oldest and the most consistent one. I mean, if I was in charge of El Dorado, I'd definitely keep it. But I, I think you might be right on this one. I think it's going to go. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, now, here, what about, here's, here's a tough one. The oh. Link. What do you think? Oh, it's too new. You, you, you know, I mean, th- that's great though, because that means that they, I mean, it's basically already paid off whatever they've done. With yeah, because it, it's it's about five years old, right? Is it? I feel like it's younger. 
Is it? What but is you it? probably, I'm trying to think of the first time that I went on, I, I went on the, the Ferris wheel. Oh, the high roller. Yeah. The yeah, high actually, roller. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Took, took one day on that one over there. She, uh, 14. Yeah, she, she dragged us oh, on that one um, on our yeah. anniversary, actually. Oh, crap. It is five years. We're at the time has been has been slipping away yeah yeah i think so five years um, five to ten years that's about what you're looking at to see a return on your investment on a casino property like that so they're they're probably about paid up on it and they could definitely jack the price up uh yeah link 2014 to now so it has so this is this is year five wow yeah, let's see. i didn't realize it hmm. so, i mean hmm. here's the thing for me okay what the hell are they gonna do with the promenade who gets that? Mm. Who gets the promenade there? That's big. Yeah. Hmm. Um. I mean, would they get the would they get the Ferris wheel with the purchase of the of the hotel? Do they get everything in the shops over there? I mean, I know it's connected yeah. to other stuff too. So they have. That's the real question. If they get everything with it, I don't think that they'd sell it. If it's just the hotel, I think Caesars and El Dorado would be very happy selling it. Yeah, I'm not sure if they own a piece because I know. That Jimmy, was it Jimmy Fallon? Jimmy Kimmel yeah. has his comedy club. I wonder if you could like buy a spot there and it's yours or it comes with the hotel. Yeah, I'm I mean, not I'm sure. sure they lease the space and all that. Yeah. So, yeah, they have to keep the promenade with the link or connect it somehow to Flamingo. Oh, yeah, so I guess I guess they could rebrand it. If they decided to keep Flamingo and get rid of Link, they could just rebrand it as the Flamingo Promenade. Uh, that, so that's an yeah. option right there, too. I mean, it, I mean, is that the same thing, though? Would you take the Flamingo High Roller? Would you do the Flamingo Promenade? I don't oh, know. Oh, that doesn't sound right. A Flamingo. Right, a flamingo. shaped in a Flamingo. It, it, it sounds like it should be fancy, but someone tried a little too hard. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see. Faces and Aces, they're thinking, uh, keep the link. They've put a lot of money into it, and it's a great value property. And it really is. It's a pretty good price for it, too. Uh, most most have stayed at link three times. Um, I, th- I think people think that uh, they should keep the link. Let's g- So hashtag keep the link. Keep the link. Let's get that trending. All right, let's get that trending. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you, you have the Instagram followers. I think the there only people go. that follow me on Instagram are here right now. <laughs> um, I only... It's true. I do only. I only have news and TV people following me. Uh, I think. Uh, well, that, that, that's so there you go. I, I got. get it. I can get it. <laughs> there I you go. You got going. this. <laughs> yeah. Two, yeah. Two hundred twenty-three million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. To go to the quad link. Yeah, I can see that. All right. Uh. So I guess we're keeping the link then. I think that's the idea. So we're probably leaning more towards self flamingo. Keep link. <laughs> so far. Keep the link. All right. Oh, well, let's go ahead and uh, let's go up to. Okay. Uh, this one I know for sure is going. Ooh. Hang on. There it is. There it is. Boom. Planet Hollywood. Oh, that one's tough. That one's going to go. I already know that one's going to go. Because they've been talking about selling it. I mean, yeah. I'm just trying to think of what it could be. It has potential to be named oh. something. Oh, Robert keeps think. trying to bring everything. Robert keeps trying to bring everything back to old Vegas. It's not going to be Aladdin, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Aladdin's they, gone. They could turn into a Disney casino. Right. <laughs> now I feel like it could be. I'm trying to think of um, Planet Hollywood. Didn't wasn't that used like a old school shop or something? Well, it used back to be the like day? the Aladdin. I think it was or Aladdin something. Hotel and Casino. Or at least uh, it, it was built on the side of it or something like that. I can't remember if they took it over again. I don't know, it's, been, it's been such a long time. And most of the stuff that they did to it predated me. So I, I wasn't uh, uh, I wasn't old enough to actually enjoy Vegas. So I didn't really get into it. I didn't really get into a lot of this Vegas stuff until I was like 21, 22. Because I was yeah, old enough to appreciate here. it. A Disney-themed casino. Genius. <laughs> there you go. We're loving it. Okay. Disney. Or you know what? Hard. Oh, that would be great if it turned into a hard rock. Uh, yeah, there you go. Richard <laughs> Branson's like, I'm going to buy the Hard Rock. And Hard Rock's like, screw go. you. We're just going to move. <laughs> we'll do, uh... oh, or the Virgin's Hotel. Oh, there see, you go. They don't need two Virgin Hotels. Right. They already More. got one. <laughs> <laughs> what, were they, what were they called? The the Virgin and then the uh, Born Again Virgin or something like that? They didn't have that <laughs> higher up on this trip? Uh, actually, you know, would... they should keep it like. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past uh, Richard Branson, yeah. though, all things considered. There you go. Uh, doesn't yeah. Stallone have a have a stake in this Planet Hollywood? Mm, not sure. I feel like he does. He either has a stake in that or Hard Rock, and I can't remember. He hmm. might not have a stake in Hard Rock anymore. Maybe I think Hard Rock. 
Oh, might have been, yeah, might have been Hard Rock because it was slightly yeah. off strip. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, Planet Hollywood from 2007 to now because it was Aladdin before that. Then it was be- then before that it was King's Crown, Tally Ho, uh, and uh, oh yeah, I guess Stallone is interest is uh, has an interest in the restaurants. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I I I know they've been talking about selling Planet Hollywood for uh, it feels like years now. They've been talking about selling mm-hmm. Planet Hollywood, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna go. Would you be upset if someone else bought Planet Hollywood and did something different with it? Change the name? You know, change the I theming? I think it does need to be rebranded, but I I would stick it to have like the L A Hollywood theme. I mm. really enjoy that. Yeah, so it's that a lady side of it. So like maybe the Bever- the Beverly Hills. The the, the Beverly or, Hills. Know, uh, or the Universal. Hotel and Casino. I don't know. Oh, actually, yeah, no, 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 bring it back. Bring it back. What was that last one? Universal Hotel. Oh, Universal. Yeah, Universal Studios Hotel. I don't know. Just you know, something like LA ish. I'm down with that. I can uh, I I can get down with that. I can get down with that there. Uh, Universal Studios Hotel and Casino. All right, you know, what? Caesars sell it. <laughs> Tony Rodeo, get on that get on that train right there. Sell that ish right there, right now. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and sell it. We're gonna sell it for you right now. So all who right. alright, who who wants to buy uh, Planet Hollywood? Starting the bidding at one dollar. Two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> the Beverly El Dorado. <laughs> The Bever- hey, I like that. There we oh, go. Nice. All right. I think I think we got a yeah, we got a workshop over here. We can uh, yeah, we can definitely workshop this. That might that might be uh that might have to be the uh, <laughs> the theme of next uh, next week's podcast. All right, guys, we got one more to get through. We got one more to get through, and then we got to drop off so uh, Chris can catch her flight here. So uh, uh, let let's see. Bring I need to up... charge my phone, so I'm gonna switch I'm gonna it. Gonna switch it sound... and get on it. Gonna be yes. on speaker. Yeah. So everybody in the all house right. can hear you. Let's. I'm doing the switch. Good. Then they'll all be able to hear us spitting and swearing and drinking. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. So last one. There it is. Oh Rio, no, I'm not charged. Las Vegas. I'm not charging. No, this will be the end of me. Da-na-na, da-na-na. All right. Charge it, charge it. Oh, Dan, Dan's got 50 cents. I think he's got. I think he won the bid. All right, I am here. Oh no, you can hear my cat. Yep. <laughs> well, well, what's your cat think of the Rio? What do you think of the Rio? Do you hear him? I, I do, actually. I, I'd like to hear more. <laughs> He's like, can I go there? <laughs> right, there you go. Actually, it's a Rio pet friendly. I don't think it's pet friendly. I know um, that Park MGM is and Bellagio is. And oh, yeah. let's see. And it's looking like the- Faces and Aces. Sell, sell, sell the Rio. Uh, Rio doesn't make much sense from a strip perspective, especially with them mm-hmm. dropping the shuttle there. Yeah, they might do that, but I think people would want to get on to the strip and Rio is just a little off strip isn't it oh yeah it's kind of I feel like it's close but far yeah we're, we're, yeah like it's it's, right? it's kind of like in that uh in, in that kind of hard rock distance there where it's walkable yeah, it's kind but it's not of, like yeah. a thing that you normally do kind of like a Hooters Hooters is another one like you know yeah, I'll, I'll take a I'll look at it and I'll be like yeah I might not take a cab to that I might not take an Uber to that but I also might yeah, that's one of the places that I still want to go to because I heard their buffet is the, what the largest buffet. Oh yeah, the the and world, uh, the Carnival World, world buffet, buffet, I think, right? That's what they call it. Yeah. So, yeah, and, go yeah, it's day, about, yeah, but, it looks like it's yeah. about a mile off, which isn't too bad. That's a pretty reasonable. I mean, walk. what can they do with it if they rebrand it? And I don't think people. I'm not sure how many um, people they get every year to stay there. Yeah. Um, they can switch it to something else and maybe turn it into. Something else besides a hotel or or knock it down. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. There. Well, no. Actually, I, I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> make it looks condos. Like a Penn, Penn and Teller hangout over there. Yeah. So they could just make it condos. It's only about a mile off the strip there. That would be perfect for like the workers or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't want to. I don't want to work that. Close. I don't want to live that close to work though. <laughs> I would. I would be like, yeah. You know, I used to live That'd really close easy. to work when I when I was a when I was a fresh faced college kid when I was still cute. Um, I worked at Best Buy, <laughs> and it was right okay. down on the street from my house. Ironically, it's the same house. Uh, you know, I, you know, same house we live in now. Um, but yes. it was right down the street from my house, and I just you know I just ride my bike over there every day. But you know, after a while, you get kind of sick of looking at work. That is true. You know, that is true. That, I, that was the same way, but I was like, I saved money on transportation. Mm-hmm. I just walked across the street and I was there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, we'll just have Penn and Teller buy it. They'll just they'll make an all sweets hotel. That'd be dope. 
They yeah, could, they, could they can make it a mini concert hall. No, oh, they can't really. Oh, well, I mean, they can make one of the Who towers knows? a mini it concert could be hall. That couldn't be bad. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. So, given its proximity to Caesars, why don't they just make a mile long bridge? And hear me out. Hear me out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they make a mile long bridge to the Caesars and give it the MGM signature treatment. Say that one more time. No, no, no think thought. about it. Think about it. So, so we make a mile long bridge from Rio to Caesars. And then oh. we rename the Rio Signature at Caesar's Palace. It's <laughs> there basically you go. the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Just they just have to pay. Just they just signature. have to spend the hundred million dollars or however much it costs to make a bridge. I will not hey, be paying it for like it, but there you go. Bridge. Yeah, subterranean it could be a shuttle. That'd be brilliant. Bridge. Yeah, there you go. We've got a lot of options right here. It could be one big moving sidewalk that moves at twenty miles an hour. Or a zip line oh, dude, that they can dope. extend it to, and it'll that. be the largest zip line experience of your life. Yeah. Or just a roller coaster. Friends, Extending. Romans, countrymen, no, no, no. join us on the roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> or one of those um, swings. You know how the skiing resorts have the. Yeah. I don't know what you call them because I've never been. Oh, the, those that is, transport uh, you. Oh, you mean the just, uh, the ski lift? Yeah, the ski lift. Yeah, the, the lifts. There yeah. you go. Just lift them there. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think that'd be brilliant. We should totally do that. It's not going to happen. Lots of dangerous. Yeah, Tim, yeah. Tim's saying he doesn't think it's going to going to happen there. Oh, they already do have a zip line there. I guess Penn and Teller's already got one. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think it's going to happen either, Tim. Uh, Tim's thinking it's a, it's a good idea, but it's probably not going to happen. And uh, I agree. I don't think it's going to happen, but it just sounds really fun and it's fun to talk about. So. Go. All right, cool deal. Uh, well, any other any other thoughts on this one? Because I think Rio is the last one on the list over here. So, final thought: uh, sell or save? Sell, 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 sell. sell, sell, sell. sell. All right. Sell, sell, yeah, sell. I, I can't imagine how much money they'd get from this thing because it's a, it's that far off the strip. It's, or maybe they won't sell it because it's not that great. <laughs> right? They're you know, like, no one will buy it because I know no people people want it, but they don't want to pay what uh, yeah. what's up there because it's not on the strip. And you know, or strip me, is yeah, prime ass real estate. You know what? I think they won't even sell it. Yeah, they're, they're not even going to bother. Be just they're too like, much, it's going to yeah. be too much of a hassle. You're like, and eh, what would we do with it? Yeah. Like, yeah, it has well, to be really cheap. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they, yeah, they probably just cut their losses on it, but you know they got and El Dorado's absorbing like nine or ten billion dollars of Caesar's yeah. debt right now, and that's a My lot gosh. of money. How did Caesar's get in so much debt? The the, the recession was not kind to them. Mm. Yeah, 2008 was a bad year for them, and it's in 2008 lasted until 2013. Wow. It was rough. I think up until I think last time when I did my Caesars and MGM merger video, when MGM was threatening to buy them, uh, their stock was at something like seven dollars a share. It was rough. I mean, MGM's was only like twenty seven dollars a share at the time, but you know, it was rough. So it, it, it's been a bad, bad few go. years for them. It's been a bad decade for them. Oh man. All right. Cool. Well, uh, I mean, go. any any final thoughts I... on all the uh, generalized craziness here that we got going on, just with the. Uh, I wonder when we'll know. Hopefully, I mean, <laughs> hopefully gonna... soon. They just uh, yeah. they just wrapped up the sale and all that. I think they're still trying to get through a lot of uh, a lot of the red tape from the gaming bureau and all that. Uh, you know, it's it's pretty nuts. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I have to get going. All right, I have to guys. travel back home. Yeah, definitely. So we're, we're wishing uh, wishing Chris some safe <laughs> travels here. Um, any yes. other final thoughts, my friend, before we take off? Because otherwise, otherwise, I think I'm yeah. good. Unless you got anything else for us today. That's, that's it. All right, cool deal, <laughs> guys. All right, well, we'll go ahead and catch you next time. I think next time we're finally gonna get around to uh, pitching our uh, our fictional casino ideas. We might actually just go ahead and buy <laughs> up one go. of these uh, silly casinos ourselves with the uh, fictional 2.3 billion dollars that we don't have, and then we're gonna go ahead and redo them our own style there too. So we'll. Uh, We'll have to get together with that in later in the week. Um, and Comp Sky should be back with us too. Yeah, yeah. he was uh, he was also traveling for the weekend, so wishing him safe safe travels. And then yeah, we'll all get back together next week. So uh, until cool. next time, my friends, it's uh, all right. I think it's your turn for the catchphrase, Chris. Oh. oh, I will think of one next time. I think that is your catchphrase. Is I will think <laughs> of one next time. <laughs> all right. I need to figure out a cool one. I, I, I like that one. I, I will think of one okay. next time. Okay.
Yeah, there you go. And then yeah. Ace of Vegas is also signing out. Strong hands and happy spinning, you guys. Woo. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Uh, catch you later. <laughs>